Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm testing Textastic. It's a code editor for iPhone and iPad. Now what's neat about it is it's just more than a text editor. It's also a code editor in the sense that you can try 80 plus different languages and you get syntax highlighting, support for text expander, for text made syntax, and for markup. And also for the cloud, you can download files and upload files between your cloud connection from Dropbox and your iPad. So let me show you how it works. It this is going to be a short review. It's this this application has a lot of features, and for me to to demonstrate every single menu and every single feature that it has, it it could take probably an hour or two. And YouTube only limits me to fifteen minutes for now. So. For starters, it supports different languages and it offers syntax highlighting and auto indentation, which is, if you're a coder, you appreciate that. This is C, you can see integer and character. Java, public static void main, everyone knows the first thing you learn in Java and system out print line, so you're dealing with the method and it's already highlighted so you know what you're dealing with. You can also create, this is the plus sign, you can also create file, folder, and deal with images, change the file format, character encoding. These are all neat, standard for text editor. Here's my favorite part. You can actually make a FTP connection. I don't do FTP, FTP is not secure. I don't care what people, experts say. You, you wanna do SFTP at the very least. Also Dropbox and WebLab connections are supported. Dropbox, you can just enter your account information, give it the title, your set. As far as SFTP, you want to provide your host name, username, and password. You want to make sure if if you have a setup for your account, you should be fine. But you want to also talk to your web host to make sure they support it and they have it set up and they're not blocking it for some reason. We've had that problem in the past with some hosts, so that option is there. As far as downloading, let's say I want to download this file. Say download, gets downloaded. I go back to my files and it's already here. And I can open it and I can see it and no problem. The search. It's it's very neat. I mean, how cool is that? You can also find and replace. And imagine you're dealing with a huge piece of code, huge, huge um, file. Having the ability to find what you need so quickly, um, that's a big plus. And you can also change the settings. You can also see file properties. Let's say you're having some problem with the file and you want to see what's going on. You look at the file property and that has you covered. Let me show you the key keyboard, which is really cool. See these icons at the top? These buttons that each have five different characters. So what you can do is you can actually hold and then go on the symbol that you want to type and the app takes care of the rest. So let's say I want to say, I'm just trying different. Now this is not exactly code. I just wanted to show you how these buttons at the top work. You can also use an external keyboard, which is nice. I already demonstrated the find and replace. You can also redo and undo. You can sync your files. This is the where you can change the font, font size, theme. I actually like this one better because you can see how what you're doing, but a lot of people like the light version. You can turn light numbers on. If, you, if, for instance, you're given an assignment to to complete the task in less than 50 lines, 
this this comes very handy actually if you've taken computer science courses in the past you probably know that sometimes they ask you to do that kind of stuff to write code that is less than 100 lines and addresses a problem so this this helps there this is pretty neat because you can just access it from here instead of going to the remote box here you, here also you can add a folder if you want pretty standard stuff user interface great it doesn't have it's not fancy but it's elegant and simple that's that's the key when you're dealing with text editor you want something that's simple and this is simple and it's also beautiful because it stays out of your way and just lets you do what you want to do now you can also send your files I these are pretty basic stuff but what you really expect to have in a text editor that is very decent so the, the positives for me are syntax highlighting support for text exp expander and all the goodies you know text main markup support for the cloud it's very important the keyboard is very neat I like that and also support for FTPS and SFTP that's very important because if you want to make a connection to your server and you want it to be secure and the application is available in three different languages English French and German so this is Textastic code editor for iPhone and iPad this is the iPad version that we tested it's available for $8.99 the last time it was updated was in September on September 20th 2012 so it's pretty recent so you know you're gonna get an app that gets updates and if there are any bugs they get fixed hopefully soon and um, one more important part was that the app didn't crash on us throughout the whole process so that's that's huge 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 when you're dealing with an app and you don't want to have a crash in the middle of your code when you've written 800 lines and you haven't saved it for some reason something happened didn't save so that's awesome so that's our review for Textastic. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go to appfinders.com for more reviews. If you like this video, please rate it. And we've also have about close to 100 other reviews that we've added in the past few weeks. So please check them out as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys.